this market is in Surrey in England and it's on the A3 so it's like a motorway so it's a dual carriageway motorway and the only way to really get here is by car you have no other way of getting here so not by public transport you can't cycle because you can't cycle on a dual carriageway you can't really walk on a dual carriageway so yeah definitely come here only by car or for example um if you have a rental car or i would say uber but i don't know how much of a chance you're gonna have an uber on sunday at seven in the morning and then plus for that uber then to also take you back so yeah i think this is definitely a driving location we've just got some petrol and oh my god the prices are so crazy so i'm gonna tell you the prices in british pounds so what you get is as if there's any other pounds oh there's no there's no other pounds are there no um came like any like overseas territory pounds i don't know jersey pound oh yeah you could i think get the jersey pound um so for petrol 95 it one pound 92 pence per litre so right now we've topped up for 20 pounds and two pence and what we've got is 10 liters of 38 so crazy and then for diesel in case you're wondering it's one pound and 94 pence so yeah pretty crazy prices i still remember when prices were like a pound i mean i don't know like 10 years ago or so 15 years ago and i was like wow they're going over a pound because i was in the car with my parents they're like look it's over a pound so now it is double that hooray now let's go to this market I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so ready. I've got a big bag with me. And also, the way you dress for these markets, I wouldn't say don't like dress anything too fancy. Expect your shoes to possibly get dirty because a lot of the time these markets are on a field and um, it's very rare to get markets on like concrete and plus you'll know that because you'll have a look at it before you go. So yeah, make sure to just dress comfy and also, just so you know, it can get pretty hot in the morning. So just like put a t-shirt on, but obviously a jacket so something you can take off and on okay let's go so we are arriving at the booth fair as you can see it's absolutely packed uh, I can't tell how many cars there are but it's a mixture of cars and vans what you would usually see vans they're commercial and I tend to like going to the cars to see what people brought personally so here we go we've got a big queue to get in there's toilets and there's places to eat if you're on the more healthier side maybe it's not for you but if you love a good burger every now and then in the morning then you can sure get one over here there's tables and chairs it's really well organized as well you have stewards everywhere helping it's a pound i think to get in if you have a car some people do park them on the motorways if they oh sorry <laughs> where we are driving as you can see on like just well uh, what is it earth i suppose um yeah so some people do like to um park their car on the motorway to save themselves a pound but hey it's hard time so you gotta do what you gotta do so here we are we park on a huge field there's a lot of cars and i will say that the kind of cars that you're getting are actually compared to say previous years you see a lot more um, fancier cars more bmws range rovers audis so you do really get a variety of people coming here who um just sometimes even enjoy a boot fair so this is not necessarily if you've got absolutely nothing you would this is your last resort you would come here and the fair is over there let's go and look it's a beautiful day look at the sky no we are not in spain we are in england it's beautiful today do you want about that one no
15. How much do you want fees? I want 16. Okay. So I have done almost half of the booth fair at the moment. I admit I haven't purchased anything. Reason being is I haven't really spotted anything that I would like. And also I am trying to adopt minimalism in some form at least. Um, so that's why I haven't purchased much yet. But if I see a bargain, something really good for me or something that will be that will have some value in the future i will for sure buy it but yeah here i am beautiful day it's huge i wish i had a drone to show you just how huge this boot is it's on a big big field and it's really well organized it's all very civil as you can hear yeah just really nice it's a mix of commercial and personal sellers i prefer the personal sellers because you tend to find a good deal but yeah, really nice atmosphere. And actually one thing I did notice is that people have now started selling food. Before it was quite restricted in terms of where, whether you can um, sell food, just obviously because of safety, health reasons. But now they must have got a license and you can sell them. So yeah, but you can find yourself some really, really good bargains. Like yeah, stuff that are online so expensive, but here you just get yourself some really good deals. Now at boot fairs, it's really important to bargain. So whatever price you're given, I would automatically half it. So if somebody says 20, I would actually even say 10, unless you think that they're really not gonna go with 10 and you just don't want to annoy them. Um, like I just did with the Doc Martens, but otherwise try and say, for example, if they see 10, 20, say 10. If they see 10, say five. If they see two, say one. Um, just to see if you can get a better deal because at the end of the day you're here to get a good deal so don't feel like you're being cheeky or anything by asking for a lower price and if they don't give it to you straight away unless there's somebody right next to you like saying we're gonna buy it or, um, or unless you really really want it otherwise you can just have a walk around have a double think about it and then see and then by that point you might see that they'll actually lower their prices too so yeah Let's keep on looking. Look, look at that vintage pram. Wow, very cool. Those are very expensive.
dogs are allowed but they have to be on a lead so if you bring your dog uh, make sure it's okay around lots of feet walking up and down constantly and that um, you're fine to keep it on a lead for how long you're here for half an hour or an hour As you can see, for example, you have brand new Range Rovers here. Um, you have a real mixture of people. It's like a cool Volkswagen van. Um, so yeah, you get a big mix of people. And you just never know what you can expect to find. Of course, you might go with like specific intentions of what you might want to find. But in general, you can really find anything, everything, anything. So, yeah, but if you really, really, really need something very specific, um, I wouldn't, I would also have a backup. So, for example, it's a Sunday and you need it for Sunday. So, if you can't find it here, make sure you have a backup because obviously it's sometimes awesome finding things here, but at the same time, it's not guaranteed. So. Like for the dress, this thirty pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amanda Wakely dress, thirty pounds. She was a model, and was she? Yeah, there's some really nice things. So there's lots of pieces here and actually if you like vintage it is possible for you to find vintage as well so yeah this could be quite a good place to find vintage because vintage can tend to be very expensive like look at this for example that could look nice right sparkly let's see what else they have like this is like Zadik Voltaire but it's kind of the tags being put on the other way around which will just make me uneasy about buying it in terms of it being fake let's see where is this dress from I can't see it is nice though right have a look at it sometimes some things you can tell like zips like McQueen jeans there you go those are nice This is a nice Morella skirt. Emma Morella. So I don't know where these things come from. But, Fuego yeah. in mi alma. This looks like it's real fur actually. La mañana. How much would you like for these jeans? Uh, yeah. So for example, these jeans right here would be 20 pounds. Thank you, I'll have a think about it. Obviously you can get good deals, but I always expect to pay significant car boot sale just because um, England, especially London, has some really, really, really good charity shops or thrift, thrift stores. 
and you can often find really amazing designer brands especially if you are in central London so the areas of um, Kensington Chelsea so you would have no issue finding uh, brands such as um, Sandro, Maje, um, a lot of those types of brands um, and then of course you occasionally vary but when I say occasionally it can be quite often when you would see something like McQueen and for example for a pair of McQueen jeans I would expect to pay around 25 and this is for things that have been like steamed in the charity shop and everything so I certainly wouldn't expect to pay that price in a um, flea market or boot fair so let's keep on going and find some bargains because I still haven't bought anything. I'm thinking whether I should go and get the Doc Martens, um, but I will definitely want them for 15, not 20, because I've never owned any. So I'm not sure if I'm if they're really my style or not, but I just still want to try them. So let's go. Oh, look at that really cool helmet. Wow, that's so cool. It just I don't know where. I think it's a horse riding helmet. I don't know if I would ever use it. Well, I wouldn't probably, but it's cool. But I know you shouldn't really buy helmets, if, like if you don't know, but um, especially for motorbike helmets, because you don't know if somebody's had a crash in them or not, whether they're still protective, but that was a pretty cool helmet. Let's see what else they have. These Converse. Let's see what size they are. UK six. They're pretty worn. If you actually also quite like, um, if you want some, I don't know, set of um, dining set or so, you might be able to get something because I know they're quite expensive. Furniture. I wouldn't say it's anything modern, but if you like wood or if you just want anything, then this could be quite good as well. Look at these cool guys. Who wants to be an action hero? Who's that? Something of America, Batman, Spider-Man, Hulk and Spider-Man. Pretty cool. Let's keep on going. And you can definitely find yourself lots of fakes here as well. Um, yeah. This is... So yeah, it's... Nice try. Almost anything. There you go. Look at this. Dior everything. You can find this all here. And in terms of quality actually, they are, well obviously if you know Dior, or if you know your designers, then you will know it's fake. But if you don't, and you feel like you need this designer stuff, then you can sure find it here. You don't have to go somewhere really far away where they sell fake stuff anymore to buy it all can be found locally i always find odd buying a puzzle anywhere secondhand or even in the shop but you know if it's like being opened because you always have a feeling that oh there's just going to be that one piece right in the middle the eye something that's going to be missing so yeah <laughs> i don't often buy or hardly i don't think i've ever bought a secondhand puzzle for that reason Lots of toys actually if you have kids and you want to come and start, buy some stuff because the toys can be extremely expensive and then most of the time you don't use them after after a year or something the child grows out of them so you can definitely find things over here. See right here at this boot everything's very multicultural. You see a uh, a lot, a lot of people from all walks of life coming together with one cause to find a bargain. Okay, let's see what beauties we can find. Coats can be quite good because you know coats are quite expensive. So if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a coat and it's not really that difficult to dry clean them for example 
and to wear them. There you go, buy yourself a couple of coats, save a bit of money there now and then, and then before you know it, you've got your first flood deposit. Look at that beautiful husky. Yeah, so all the dogs that you see here, you can of course bring them, but make sure that they are on a lead. And the only trouble I've ever seen is when two, two dogs bark with one another, which is just them saying hello. So you are totally okay to bring your dog over here. And actually, if you really like vintage, I think this is an awesome place for anybody who's into vintage. So you can for sure find it. And yeah, you see you got lots of Nike trainers and all that there. So you've definitely got a lot of fakes as well, but just in advance know that, especially if you see stores like this, you know, that it look, look, look like they're a little mini market. These are professional sellers and um, if you see like them selling like 10 pairs of Nike trainers, all boxed by Neo or Dior, then I would say for sure that they are fake. For example, something like this, this is a big seller, but I would say I think almost all of this looks authentic. Even though I know even the cheaper brands can be fake these days. That's one way to be patriotic to your country. So yeah, you can find lots. Look at this. This is really cool, right? So this is kind of the final area. Let's get an observatory See, Lots. Look, this is for example 25 pounds for these two. So you can hang them on your wall. Very cool. Ooh, look at these chairs. How much are they? 10 pound chair. They're a bit wobbly, but I suppose you can replace the legs. Oh, that's way too much for me to look through. I'm really lazy sometimes when it comes to looking through because it's quite difficult trying to look through like a really huge rail without everything just dropping and then you're kind of picking it up. I would suggest don't overpack your rail, which makes it difficult. You just want people to see exactly what you have. So then they quickly just snap it up and buy it. And actually, if you did want to sell here, it's probably better to come for around 6 a.m. So for example, if you to come now, maybe a bit too late. So come for six in the morning and it might cost, I think about 10 pound. And then yeah, you can start selling. Oh, they have lots of makeup, but I don't tend to buy makeup in these places, just because you don't know how old it is, whether it's dried out. So, but there's definitely makeup. Over here we have some costumes. This is cool. Sparkly, sparkly. Let's see what this person has. Look at this outfit. Wow. So if you want something really bright, you might be able to find something here. Look, this one looks busy. Five. Five pounds. 
so as you can see some stuff are really expensive so i could probably find that in a charity shop in chelsea which is a really expensive area in london for probably around 10 pounds so of course the prices that you're given if it just sounds too high definitely uh, don't 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 buy it because you're here for a bargain and not to just overpay for something right let's see what else they have yeah not that much the last time I've been to a boot fair was maybe around four years ago and since then I've been trying to really declutter a lot of my things um, selling them and just minimizing the amount of things I've had since I've downsized so now it was a bit of fun to come here but at the same time it's like my my objectives for purchases have changed so now some things i'm looking at i'm like mm, no no whereas i would have bought some things like five years ago i won't now so that's a good money saving tip only buy if you really 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 need it and save up for the more important uh, bigger things that you need and as we're going i need you to smash that like button smash it if you think this boot is great Smash it if you think you've been to a better boot and smash it just for the hell of smashing it. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe right below. But let's continue exploring. But subscribe because we're going to have more, more, more awesome content coming out. Look, the sky, it's still beautiful. Hey, what shape is that cloud? Can't tell. Do you like shape clouds? <laughs> Guess the shape of that cloud weird everybody has their own imagination and perspective let's keep on going so in terms of the cars that you have here look at this this is for example it's a small one but it's a mercedes from 2017 you have a lot of good cars and that's one thing i have noticed um since so the last time i was here was four years ago so prior to the pandemic and uh prior to lots of other global events and I did not see this many um, good cars coming out to sell their personal things like for example right over here selling all their personal things so obviously it's not 100% an indication but to me it just looks like people are more tight for cash so yeah they are going over here to start selling and making some money so whereas before some of these people may have just given their things away to charity now they've decided actually i'm gonna sell some of these things even if i make 100 pounds that's still good enough for i don't know how much each seller makes obviously it depends on what they're selling but i would probably say they don't make any more than 50 pounds just from the prices that you hear either the price is quite low which is what people want a pound or the price is too high 20 pounds and nobody's gonna buy it But as you can see, absolutely everything goes. Bras, underwear, even some of the things that you think you will not find, you will find. So there's no shockers. Like for example, I don't know how much that jacket is, but in the shops, a jacket like that, River Island, can probably cost like 60 to 100 pounds. So of course, if you can come over here and buy that for five pounds, then that's awesome. And for example, if it's, uh, it has one or two marks in it you can either try getting rid of them yourself or you can dry clean it for say 15 pounds but either way it's still going to be cheaper for you than buying it from the shops excuse me how much are the blue trainers uh, 25 25 So that was my experience of going to the car boot sale. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment below of anything you have ever found at a boot fair, at a flea market, whether it was something really special to you or something really valuable. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos and give me a big thumbs up, smash that like button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!